Hey folks, JD here, and today look at this guy. This is the Isheen Racer 180, and what a guy he is. I'm really excited to be taking this up. Little camera on the front of it there. Watch the unboxing, then you'll notice that this comes with two different, um, two different covers. I've chosen to go with the blue, just because it's in keeping with, with the propellers. I've also stuck, stuck a couple of decals in it, uh, just because, well, they were, they were with it, so why not? Uh, so, a couple of things to note. What I've done is I've already gone through and I've checked. For the pre-flight check, I've already checked all of these uh, lock-in nuts are properly screwed down and they are all properly um, all secure and safe. So what I've done with the battery is a little change since the unboxing is I've, in order for this to fly properly, this battery has to be properly uh, inserted and in a uh, correct position. So what I've done with that is I've just used the little velcro pad that came with uh, the accessory pack and I've just stuck that down there. Obviously as it's velcro you can then take it off if you want to later but I thought just to be on the safe side I would leave it there. I've done nothing with these jumpers on here. I've left them exactly as they're meant to be. Uh, so there we go. Right so let's just attach this back onto here. I thought we would do this video in two steps. So the first step being, we'll take it up, we'll have a little fly around here, uh, obviously in this enclosed area, and see how it goes. And then once we've done that, what we'll do then, I thought we'd take us out to a big field, and I thought we'd rag it round um, and see exactly how fast uh, this thing will fly. Because obviously I can't test that being inside this little compound here. Okay, so before we go any further, what I want to show you is I want to show you these rotors, these motors, these tilt. So, as you push, as you accelerate, look at that. As you can see, as it moves, you've got this little arm underneath, which then moves the motors for you, all at the same time. This is how the tilt rotor functions. This is how it works. Now, I've just turned the transmitter on. If <laughs> a couple of things I didn't realize just before uh, we go off. So this is the Isheen i6 transmitter. This is, uh, I think, an exact copy of the Flysky i6. I'll be doing a detailed look in this and to all the switches in a little bit. So before I go any further, what I would like to say is once you turn on this big guy here just by plugging in this cable, if the transmitter isn't on, the quadcopter, or sorry, the tilt rotor is just gonna beep like mad. That's just because this guy isn't on. Nothing else to worry about. It's just quite simply because the transmitter is off. All right. So a couple of things you have to do before you take to the sky with this one is I've just turned this on. I haven't held in these two button, these two trim buttons at all. Uh, that just, if you do that, that just gives you access to the inbuilt menu. So with this, I'm just going to fly it pre-calibrated exactly as it came from the factory. See how it goes. In order to turn on this transmitter, these four uh, switches have to be all the way up. If they're not, if you turn it on, this thing is going to play blue murder. It's just going to constantly beep at you and say, warning, all, uh, all switches should be in the downward position. Right then, so what we've got to do first of all is unlock the transmit, unlock the quadcopter. Move this SWC switch into the second, onto number two there. Then we're going to push the left analog stick over into the corner there. There'll be a little beep from this guy. There we go. Now the rotors are unlocked. Now we can take her up. All right, so up we go. This guy is a tilt rotor. So look at these motors. There is no altitude hold with him. But these motors, look at that. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, let's take him out a little bit and see how he flies. Wow, this is unlike anything I've ever flown. The plastic, I think, is rubbing. The motor is rubbing on the plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring him back and have a little look and see what's going on there. I don't want there to be any damage when it comes to me actually flying this thing. Yeah, there we are. So this little rubber bung here had come out from the slot so obviously what was happening there was as you can see there the plastic here has cracked a little bit from where the the blade was spinning around this obviously was pushed out a little bit because of the all the cables inside here and then because of that then um, it actually snapped a little bit of the plastic so let's unlock the rotors again let's take her up that tilt rotor is amazing really is incredible but what you've got to remember is you've got to remember to stop it because if you just push forward then she is just going to literally 
just keep on careering forward. <laughs> no altitude hold. But incredibly satisfying to drive to, to, to pilot. Look at the speed of this now. That's not even full. All right then folks, now we're gonna give it a test. We're out now in the field. It's very early morning. As I say, no one's around. Let's put this to the test. So as you can see, I've strapped my, uh, my run cam to it just to ensure that we get a good flight. I want some proper 720p video from this. Um, I don't want uh, any low res quality. I really want to pick up the flight of this. All right then, up we go. Up we go. Right then, so all I wanted to test today with this was quite simply, was to see how well it flies in a straight line. Because I'm really <laughs> not tested anything this powerful before. And obviously really just wanted to see how it was going to fare out. So, let's try it. Oh my God, this thing is insane. That is absolutely insane. That was full chat. All right, so here we are again. <laughs> wow, this thing is incredible. Absolutely so, so unbelievably fast that I was just going to fly her around a bit and now I'm just gonna speed her off. Oh, look at the speed of this. She doesn't half career towards you. Look at her flying. So, so good. And of course, not really noticing any sort of difference at all. <laughs> Nicely styled. And of course, not really noticing any difference whatsoever with the run cam on her back. Run cam, obviously, if you haven't heard of it, I used to use it a lot on the quadcopters that we get without a camera. You, and even though this one has a camera, I don't really want to be using the low quality... I don't really want to be using the low quality of the video. I want to get something that looks really spectacular. Oh, this is amazing. He is so, so fast. Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Up over the goalpost, straight ahead. Whoa, this thing just rips absolutely rips and tears through through the air. I cannot describe the sound on those motors as well. As soon as through the goals the sound on the motors as well as soon as he goes as soon as he flies straight ahead the motors they this is a different sort of sound they just scream. All right then folks so here we have it. This has been the Ishin Racer 180. Wow, what an absolute beast of a machine. <laughs> These motors are extremely loud, but it's a different sort of sound. It's not a cheap sort of rattly sound that you get. This motor is proper power encapsulated inside these little areas here. As for the body, it's very streamlined, as you can see, and it does really just cut through the air without any, without any issue whatsoever. The transmitter is a little bit more complicated, but I will be going into this in a lot more detail. I've decided to do this in its own video because I think it needs it. Uh, so I'll be setting that up as its own video to go. Uh, but it's, it's very good, very responsive, a very long transmitter range. I mean, at, on this field, I was able to reach the other goalpost down there without any issue, um, and it had it was fully responsive enough then for the quadcopter, for the tilt rotor rather, to turn around and come back without any stuttering. So it. You know it's pretty good range for a racer as as you would expect the carbon fiber on this uh, racer really does make a difference lowers the um, it lowers the weight and therefore ensures that you get the maximum speed that you're going to out of this guy um, with these motors attached but I would say it's very it, it takes some getting used to and it is quite difficult to control and with the fact that it doesn't have altitude hold does mean that it is going to uh, it is going to take a little while just for you to get the the weight right because these motors, once you start them properly, they are extremely powerful and the thing just takes off. So if you are going to buy it, then I definitely would say be careful. Uh, but on the other, at the other end, if you've got an open field like this, 
uh, with nobody around it is just incredible amounts of fun uh, so there we are folks thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying